Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. A channel member and subscriber said, hey, Bees, do you want to check out this budget knife from Amazon? I was like, you know what? I've never heard of them. Let's do it. They chose to remain anonymous, but thank you very much. You know who you are. You're probably watching right now. This is a GVDV. <laughs> Literally, GVDV. It's the GVDV 9CR18 MOV pocket knife. So um, it doesn't have a model number as far as I know. It comes in a nice case. It comes with a uh, belt loop carrying case. Looks like it might be leather or pleather or something in that effect and the little micro suede cloth. But here it is. The GVDV <laughs> the GVDV 9CR18 MOV pocket knife uh, with no name as far as I know. We'll give you a little bit of texture vision. It does have a little bit, a little bit of seeable. You can look at it. it. You can't really feel the texture a whole lot. I'd give it about a two. It's kind of smooth. There is a little more texture up here where you have those little angles. Um, it doesn't have a double-sided pocket clip. The pocket clip is not deep carry. Now this, if it turns out to be a decent knife, this is one that you can pull out of your pocket in and out easy. So this might be a good summer work knife or a winter work knife. And uh, let's look over here, over here, over here. Wow, not a lot of screws. It's a relatively clean look. You want to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Ooh, okay. That's pretty nice. I like the looks of it. I like the feel of it. Here's a look at the blade. Ooh, I like that. It has a really nice black stone wash. And the jimping. Oh, hello. hello. Okay, so we're talking a $21 knife here. Right now, it's 50% off as of the time of this video's posting. I don't know how long that sale's going to be going on. But, ooh, ooh, it has excellent jimping. They didn't skip on the jimps, and we, we'll see if this fuller's going to work. And you have just a tad a bit of sharpening before you get to that big plunge grind right there. This is a liner lock. And what's our lockup? I'd say about 25-ish, 28, <laughs> 28.625, around 25%, and it is centered. The action's good, and oh my goodness. Oh my lanta, look at that. It That's as drop shutty as the knife gets. Wow. Um. All right, so it's it's rock solid left and right and up and down. There is zero movement. And look at this. That is, ooh, yeah, very, very nice. Okay, this isn't too shabby. You know what I should do is get a measurements for you. And through NAF magic, we now have them. So from tip to tip, you're 8.45 inches. Your cutting length is 3.62 inches. Your blade thickness is 138 thousandths of an inch or 3.53 millimeters. Behind the edge is 23 thousandths, pretty darn consistent. 6.6 millimeters, it weighs in at 5.1 ounces. So it has a little bit of heft to it. I like the feel of it. It feels very, very nice. And check this out, look at this. I thought it didn't have a spot for you you lanyard lovers oh but i was oh so wrong it does have a lanyard pin i love it when they do this that way you have the options so that is very nice you also have a g10 backspacer here that is pretty cool i do like those shiny oh so shiny liners very very nice so the snap on it is good the action oh my goodness for it to be so solid and that smooth wow and okay, so this does have steel ball bearings. And for steel bearings, it can't, a knife can't get smoother than that. That's as drop shutty as it gets. The action is really good. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And ooh, yeah, it fits my hand very, very well. I have no hot spots at all. So that pocket clip is not an issue whatsoever. And ooh, look, we almost have a little bit of poon. Would you consider that a poon? There's a question. Is that a poon? Um, oh my gosh. So that jimping is, that is just rock solid. That jimping is 10 out of 10. And I've never even heard of GVDV before. So the grip on it is very nice. The reverse, reverse grip, reverse, reverse. <laughs> <laughs> it is very, very nice. So no issues for that. The G10 is solid. The action is unbelievable. It has a really good looking stone wash. Oh yeah, these come in three different colors. You can get the black, you can get blue with the regular stone wash if you don't like the black stone wash. And then you could also get the orange that has the black stone wash.
And we're gonna do a couple size comparisons. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join us Friday nights, Bees Blades, live at the Hive. All right, 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern time. We have so much fun, and if you have questions about these knives, you can always check out the links in the comments or in the video's description, and we have the knife cam. We can answer any questions during the live stream. This is the QSP Penguin. Everybody should have a penguin, right? Are you ready? Are you ready? This is the CJRB Feldspar. It's the Feldspar. So are you, are you feeling what we're stepping in? Let's put a couple more up here. I'm trying to put up some budget blades for you. Here's the Syncut Saxy. And how about the Sativian ST10, I think it's two. <laughs> this is the Sativian ST131. Give them names, man, give them names. So there you go. It's about the size of the Sativian ST131. They're very close. This one's a tad shorter, just a little bit. And here's one everyone has seen, I think, the Ontario Rat number one. And last, but certainly not least, the Firebird FH91 right here. Check it out. Okay, there you go. So it is a full size knife and I have a full purchase with my hand on it. It's very comfortable. I don't really have anything negative to say. A $21 knife, now here's the, here's the kicker. So this one comes with the, le the leather or the, the sheath right here. I found another version. If you don't like them this big and you want a smaller knife, for 17 bucks you can get the same knife but it's a three inch blade version. Unlike this one, this one is 3.62 inches. You could get a three and I'll put a link in the description for the three inch version. And let's see what this looks like. Uh, how does this go in here? We'll see what it looks like in the case. Um, all right, so there, if you wanna wear it on your belt and not in your pocket, there you go, you're good to go. And you know what? I didn't even check out the thumb hole. Yes, reverse flick all day long. How about the thumb? Ooh, yeah, so this is multiple ways to deploy it. If you like thumb flicking, that is very easy. It's not soft in here and it's not sharp. It's just right where your thumb, a lot of times a thumb hole won't work <laughs> like a thumb hole should. The reverse flick is very nice. The detent is not the strongest. You can see it comes out a little slow when I just give it a little bit. It does come out and get lock up, but you don't have to give much and it comes flying out. So, I mean, wow, a $21 banger that is this comfortable, no hot spots. The edges are knocked off a little bit. Uh, it's semi, semi sharp up here, but you don't feel it when you're holding it. So wow, 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 $21. If you're like me and you see knives on Amazon, you're like, I wonder if that is even worth it, or is it a piece of junk? I would say no, this one is definitely not a piece of junk. My only, uh, my only nitpick would be a little more sharpening choil, but for 21 bucks, who cares? Uh, I would say just a little, bit stronger on the detent would be the only nitpick. So tell me what you think about it. Do you like Amazon knives? Do you have one that you recommend or one that you've been wanting to check out? I might be able to show it on the channel, but tell me what you think. And if you don't have any opinion on this knife, tell me what you had for breakfast. Go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you again or talk to you in the live streams, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.